All right, uh, good afternoon, everyone, uh, or good evening, I, I guess, suppose. We've just had a, uh, a very good uh, consultation on Myanmar, um, and I've been uh, asked by the members of the Council to make uh, the following um, uh, press uh, statement to you. First, um, that um, you know, the members of the Council were briefed, and that this is for the first time, by the Secretary General Special Envoy, Christine Schranen-Burgener, um, and um, we've all expressed a very strong support for the Special Envoy, in her work to address the crisis uh, and to deepen Myanmar's partnership with the United Nations. Members of the Security Council also heard briefings from Assistant High Commissioner for Refugees, uh, Volker Turk um, of UNHCR, and Claire van der Veren, Director for Country uh, Office Liaison and Coordination for Asia Pacific within the UNDP. Um, the briefers provided a comprehensive overview of the current situation, including as regards um, uh, UN, UN having better access to those in need. I can also say that um, the, the um, Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights were also present in the room uh, to respond to questions when it comes to the human rights situation. Um, members of the Council stressed the need to make progress in facilitating implementation of the MOU with the UNHCR and UNDP and the MOU is an arrangement between Myanmar and Bangladesh. Members of the Council continue to stress the importance of undertaking transparent and independent investigations into allegations of human rights abuses and violations. They noted the decision of the Government of Myanmar to establish an independent commission of inquiry on the 31st of May. Members of the Security Council also stress the need to step up efforts, including through providing assistance to the social and economic development in order to create conditions conducive to the safe, voluntary and dignified return of Rohingya refugees and internally displaced persons to their homes in Rakhine State. I would leave um, to the floor to the Special Envoy if you want to say a, a few words and then if there are questions, please. Okay, I just uh, will give you an overview. I just uh, started two months ago with my new mandate as the Special Envoy uh, of the Secretary General on Myanmar. Uh, I visited uh, many, many people to have an overall uh, picture of the complex situation in Myanmar. So I visited uh, New York, uh, Geneva, uh, Myanmar twice, uh, the second time also uh, with the invitation of the government to participate at the Panglong Conference on the peace process. Uh, I visited Bangladesh, inclusively the uh, Cox Bazar camp. Uh, then I visited uh, Beijing and London and now again in New York. Um, uh, my mandate is quite broad. Uh, it goes not only about Rakhine and bringing the, uh, or supporting bringing back the refugees uh, back home, uh, but also uh, related to Rakhine, uh, I have to deal with uh, reconciliation and also accountability. Uh, then uh, not only on Rakhine, it's also important to, um, to work on the peace process in overall, uh, to speak and talk with the uh, ethnic armed uh, organizations. Uh, then democratization in overall, so it means also any controversial issue related also to the violation of human rights, uh, I can approach the government. Uh, then I, in the longer term, I also have to, to deal with the election uh, in 2020. I had so many discussions with the government uh, in Myanmar and uh, we had constructive, open uh, discussions. Um, I'm really pleased that they uh, opened the door for, for me, that they accepted my mandate uh, and also they accepted that I will have uh, an office in Napido with a small team and therefore I will travel back uh, soon again in September uh, to uh, Myanmar and this time I would like to visit also other states like Kachin uh, because there are uh, other problems not only in Rakhine. Therefore I will continue to have this dialogue with everybody and I'm very uh, uh, grateful for the Security Council for their support because I need it. Uh, it's quite a complex issue and uh, it will not a quick fix solution 
Commission uh, with my mandate. So uh, it takes time, but I have already now the access and I can discuss any issue with them, which is uh, also I'm grateful to the government of Myanmar and especially grateful to the government of Bangladesh uh, to host uh, around 900,000 uh, Rohingya refugees. This is uh, really enormous uh, work. So thank you very much. Yes, so let's take two questions, please. Mr. President, um, you might want to answer this in your national capacity because I know you've only been mandated with those words That's by right. the Council. Um, should the prospect of sanctions be on the table to persuade the government to change its behaviour? And Special Envoy, would it help you in your job if there was the threat of sanctions? Um, on, on sanctions, uh, the, the, um, I think, and I, I speak as, as actually as president of the Security Council, I think there is a recognition amongst Security Council members that there have been positive steps taken uh, lately. Um, uh, it's also fair to say that for many those steps are, are far from sufficient. Um, but uh, that is the discussion we're having right now, and as long as the Council is unified in terms of engagement, but also on putting pressure, I think we are making progress uh, slowly. It's, it's far too slow if, you, if I'm speaking from the Swedish perspective, but I think it's also important that we try to stick together and, and push this process uh, forward. Please. Okay, so um, I, I need this dialogue, to, uh, so therefore I need open doors. Um, for that, I think Myanmar is uh, not a country which is reacting uh, quite uh, on, on pressure, but it's up to the Security Council. But for my work, I, I have to work uh, behind the doors, and then I can tell them uh, also critical questions. Um. Madam Special Representative, um, what steps do you think that you can do and the Security Council can do to improve life for the Rohingya um, and to get the conditions that would enable them to return? Well, I'm supporting the UN entities who are working hardly to bring the refugees back, like we uh, could have the uh, MOU between UNDP, UNHCR, and Myanmar. So uh, if I can support this implementing, then that would be one of my uh, roles. So I keep going on uh, to um, advise also the government of Myanmar uh, how they can also change the attitude of the communities on the ground. How, how to address the key issue of statelessness for the Rohingya. This is also part of the recommendations of Kofi Annan's uh, uh, commission and therefore uh, I'm in uh, constant uh, contact with the advisory committee which are dealing with the implementation of those uh, recommendations and citizenship is one of these recommendations. Uh, Special Envoy Michelle Nichols from Reuters. Um, how many times have you met with Aung San Suu Kyi? How would you describe those meetings and um, her willingness to, to maybe work with the UN and to bring, bring the Rohingya home from Bangladesh? Um, and have you raised the case of the Reuters reporters with her? I met her already three times uh, for longer discussion, more, each time more than one hour. Very constructive, very open, uh, very friendly, and she's aware of the difficulties and challenges. And uh, I can approach with her any uh, controversial issue also uh, related to the freedom of press. All right, thank you very much. I think if we'll I could have one last question. Uh, has the government of Myanmar expressed or showed any willingness uh, to allow the return of the Rohingya? Sorry? The government of Myanmar has expressed any willingness or showed any willingness uh, to allow the return of the refugees? They declared really um, openly that they want to bring them back, but, uh, but the, the situation on the ground in Rakhine is not only divided because of the government, it's really going through the communities that there is a division between the Muslim community and the other a part of the Rakhine population, mostly Buddhist. So uh, they want to bring them back, but uh, the, the, they have to come back uh, voluntarily, safe, in dignity, and in a sustainable uh, manner. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.